The Deck Network. Build a deck. Bam! This is The Deck Network. I'm your host, Mike Danzilio, and we have Mr. Matt, the loose cannon himself. Matt Bang, the co-host. Mm. What a great day here for decking. Here at The Deck Network, it's all decks all the time. And, and you're deck up, related. Aren't you up to your neck and decks? We're up to our neck and decks. Well, actually, today, mm. Mike, railings. Yes, we are. Today is another rail day. Uh, it's it's springtime, and we're getting ready to really start pumping out some decks, so we only have a few more weeks for the Deck Network before we give way to just selling decks. But today's show, we're going to talk about Trex railing. Trex has a great railing there. Rail has gives you, and I like to say this a lot, Trex, with a lot of the offerings that Trex has, they have tremendous design flexibility. Mm. Meaning that you can do so many different things. You're not stuck to do it one certain way. The Trex products have a lot of great little parts to it. And how great is that? You can customize it based on oh, what you can, your needs are. People, okay, again, people always ask me, well, what's the best decking? And of course, I always say, well, the best decking is you're going to find that in the top two or three brands, Trex, Timbertech, Azac, somewhat fiber on also. But in railings, the, the top brands have all the rails. Trex, Timbertech, Azac rails, they have all the rails. They have a huge penetration of all the rail market. So the Trex rail has a little slightly less price point than some of the Timbertech rails, but has some very, very good features. Of course, they gotta have the strength, the durability, the color, the colored Trex Transcend railing has a uh, acrylic coating on it, so it resists any kind of fading and chalking mu very, very well. But let's get into the video. Let's see our good friend Steve Phillips. He's been on the show a number, a number of times. Friend of the program. So let's get right to it right now. Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're with Steve Phillips from the Trex company, and he's going to show us the Trex railings. So uh, one of our new products this year is gates. Um, we've been asked for years to get gates, and the issue is, is a lot of times if you don't have a gate solution, solution you lose the entire job. So what we've done is, is we've leveraged our, uh, our competency in uh, powder-coated aluminum to make a very durable but easy to install gate. This gate is adjustable, it comes as a welded panel, you can slide the post off, cut it to your desired width, put the post back on, and hang it. It takes about 30 minutes to hang, it's a lot less expensive than a lot of the composite gates, and it's a nice match with our powder-coated balusters when you're using Transcend. So a lot of times people will ask me, can you put the reveal gate with the transcend rail? And we have it right here and it looks great. Yep, right. the idea, uh, Mike, is you want to match the balusters. Mm -hmm. so we have these square and round balusters and all three powder coated colors, mm -hmm. just like we have the gates. So if you've got, for example, black round balusters, you'd want to use black round uh, balusters here. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, we have our, our standard one. Our best seller is the, the transcend rail with the black round balusters. Right, right. It, it just, it sets a versatile product. So you just order a black round gate for that up. It just works great. Right. Okay, then we have the, uh, the ADA rail over here. Yeah, so another new powder coated aluminum product that we've got here is our ADA hand rail. Again, all these products feature an ARMA 2604 certified powder coating, mm -hmm. um, which is very, very durable against uh, corrosion. But the, the nice benefit about this is, versus the vinyl system we had before, is it's much sturdier, it's much stronger. It's easy to install, there's no glue required to install it. The parts and pieces are very simple, and it creates a much nicer finished look than the previous product that we had. This is what code is for stairs. And it's not always enforced, but this is what the code is. Okay, that's it for us. Right. Thank you. Bam. All right. That was... Uh, Steve had a lot of great Steve. stuff to say there. Now, were you there? No, I didn't get invited because I'm always stuck here uh, at the at the headquarters of the Deck Network. I don't get to go on these elaborate vacations. You and trips were at and the uh, the no. International Builder Show I was waiting, in, you know, in I was, Las Vegas. I was Nevada. waiting for my phone to ring. It never did. Again, we uh, talked about that earlier. It was a visa issue. Yeah, and uh, credit card issue. <laughs> no, it wasn't a visa. You're getting a visa. Oh yes, I couldn't get a yeah permission to leave the county. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna see a bunch of the, uh, okay. the railing so here. So this now. is when you go to the Trex website. Trex.com. Trex.com. Oh, lots of great stuff. Website, you can get lost in this website. It's so big and there's so many different ideas and photos. And uh, I just love the way things have evolved over time with websites and the, uh, the speed of it. You can have larger pictures and much more detailed photographs, which really is a lot of fun for us. So when we get to railings, they have three, three, sec three types of railings. They have their... Uh, the select rail, which you don't see a whole lot, it's just a, a lesser version of the transcend railing. And the transcend railing is such a great rail with such a great price point. 
that I think we just sell a heck of a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. so, so we have the select rail, which is probably in the 20 to $26 a linear foot. That's something new we're doing on the deck network now. We're starting to talk price. We're giving a range, though. You might as well. Yeah, you know, it's, we, it's a it, lot right? of different parts, so how much are you going to pay for your decking? It's not just one set price, but uh, because if you're a contractor that buys a quarter million dollars in decking gear, he's going to, and it'd be fair to him to have a little bit better of a price. And then if you're a homeowner that just comes in and buys one section of rail and, and plops down your American Express card, you're going to pay a higher percentage. It's going to just cost more. It's the nature of the game. Yeah, the credit cards just cost a little bit more, so of course it's and in all businesses, but, but certainly in the building products business. We had a great video how, on that. How you buy and how you pay has a lot to do with it. But the uh, now we're going to get into the Trex Reveal Rail okay. that, we, that uh, Steve that talked about. Mm -hmm. That was in the... Um, oh, this is a great shot of it. The railing is one, this, this one, that last one over there. This one here. Yeah, they're... Um, well, bam the Trex Reveal Rail. It's nice. It's an aluminum rail. Now, nothing wrong with it, right? Oh, you know, it's a great rail. Remember, I mean, we, had, we did a show recently about aluminum railing, and Trex set the market. They, was, they figured out a rail, they priced it out, they made it legal, they made it strong, it had a few different options. Uh, this particular uh, little display that we have right here is the Trex Reveal Rail with the transcend balusters. has a great look. Hardware uh, hidden. Yeah, it's a, there's a little bit of hardware because it's you know they try to keep the uh, the cost down on it. They sold a bunch of it, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, as we, oh yeah, they, I sell quite a bit of it. It's uh, the reveal rail runs from the thirty one to thirty six dollars a linear foot, and uh, how I come up with that price is if you get a six foot section of rail, a sleeve, a cap, a skirt, add it up and divide it by six, and uh, those prices were done based on the two inch post for the uh, reveal, the aluminum rail. They have a two and a half inch post, which is, a, it may look a little nicer and it may be worth the $10 or more per post on that. But the, uh, the nonetheless, the aluminum rail is something that a lot of people like it because it has less, there's less rail there. But being aluminum or a metal, it's strong. And so they made it so there's just less there. People can just look out over their deck and really not see much rail. That's why the black, for some reason, we sell a lot of black. Uh, the reveal rail with the two and two and a half inch posts. You almost look across it and you just don't see anything. Mm. They also make it in white and in the bronze color that looks kind of like a brown. And as you saw from the video, he had that bronze railing. It matched the uh, well. This one is the uh, the vintage lantern post right here. And so they they look very similar, even though they have different names on them. This one has the, the, the uh, of course, the pyramid cap and the flat cap. 99% of all the caps we sell are the flat cap. If we, you know, the thing about these decking companies is that you want to know what's going to sell the next year. Take a look at their brochure, and if it has flat caps in it, that's what people are going to get. So let's uh, pull the reveal rail over. Now, this is the rail that we... It really sells a lot. Some of the, the, the Trex contractors really get it. Let's bring the, yeah, let's pull that one out here. Okay. This one is the Trex Transcend Rail. It is in the treehouse color here with the vintage lantern balusters. It's just a great rail. The design flexibility in which, the way that this works, the design flexibility is just great. They have the, uh, the component, which is the, what they call their bottom rail or their universal rail. You could use this on the top. We have a, a leather rail over there with it used on the top. Or they have the, the crown top here, real standard crown top rail. And these pieces, these little snap-in, these uh, inserts, that's what makes it so you can do all these different parts. You can do so much with it so easily. You have the infill kit for the square baluster. You have the infill kit for the round baluster, which we're going to look at in a minute. Then you have the glass infill kit. So there's just, you can do so much. And there's also a square aluminum baluster infill kit. I have never sold any, but we, everyone buys the, the round ones for mm. some reason. When you use the, uh, the aluminum rails, they like the square balusters. And when you use the composite rails, they like the round balusters. That's just the way that it is. So this rail in white, it comes in a kit. And that's got a great price point. And that's the um, Transcend Rails white, 24 to $30 a linear foot. That's a great price. That's with the white, and you buy in the kit, because they come in kits in sixes and eights with the balusters and horizontal and stair. So there's a little bit of a price break when you buy it in the kits. 
Why don't you pull that one away? But this is what we sell the most of. This one here, this one is the Kuwait Transcend Rail, flat cap with the black round balusters. Classic look. Hard, we hardly sell any white square balusters. The difference in cost to do it from the white to the, the white square ones to the black round may only be a dollar, dollar fifty a linear foot. So that's gonna, you know, our white is our white is uh, our white transcend rail is twenty four to thirty. So add a dollar to that, it's still and it it's very cost effective, works great, looks incredible. People love it. One of our uh, contractors, this is, he doesn't even, he prices it out at the white square and he always upgrades it to the black round. It doesn't cost him hardly any more, but what a difference in look. So these are just the very versatile railings. I have some photos here. We'll take a look at some of these. Yeah, Matt, you want to uh, pull that? rail out of there. This is a a normal Trex rail you can see, you'll usually see off of the Trex website. This one is is just the railing that we were just looking at. The uh, the transcend rail with the black round balusters. It's all curved out. I, I love the pictures because I like curved decks. We curve them here, right? Yeah, we have uh, we do that here at No Maintenance Sex. We curve the rails. There's the same rail with the uh, lighted pyramid cap on it. It just fits nicely, Sleek. looks great. The LED lights, it's great stuff. And here's the bottom of that same rail. No wonder why you sell a lot of it. It it's, looks great. It Mike. looks great and it's got a great price point on it. Yeah. There is uh, the same the same rail. Everyone loves that black round. Yeah, now this good. one is one of the that our deck builders here, Kevin, does and he wanted to put the black round balusters at this house and the person said, No, 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 no. I want it to be brown to match the decking. And uh, so brown and white they went with. Yeah, but you still it gives the illusion that it's almost not even there. Yeah. Now this the is the reveal the rail, the uh, with the two inch post. Great price point. You really don't see much rail when you're when you're on that deck and you're looking out. You really don't see a whole yeah. lot of railing there. There. And then there's the white one, the white rail, and that's with the crossover post, so you can get a continuous handrail. And we noticed on the video that we saw with. Um, with Steve, he, he showed us that ADA rail that came around. Yeah, that the handrail is, of sort. If you read the codes on stairs, it says you have to have a continuous handrail that goes past six inches, but you can't hook it on anything. You saw that little hook going around yeah. there? That's so a pocketbook or a jacket or something doesn't get hooked on, on it. That. And when you're coming down a long flight of stairs, Hang you know, when we have our normal railings, you have to have a post every six feet or eight feet. You have, you're really not supposed to have that. You're supposed to have a continuous handrail. They don't want people to grab a handrail, take it off, and put it back on. You want to have a continuous handrail going down. And so this, uh, of course, the uh, the Trex ADA rail does that, and the the uh, Reveal rail also does that. It gives you that uh, continuous handrail. It's one of these things that it says it in the code book, but if you build the rails nice, they usually don't say anything to you about it because it's certainly an added expense and it probably doesn't look all that great, but definitely in a commercial setting you have to have those graspable handrails. This is the reveal rail with the uh, the transcend sleeve cap and skirt on it, which Good. I have a guy who buys, loves that, he gets the black one with the gravel path, this color right here, the gravel path, and he puts it on the uh, gravel path decking with the black rail, loves it. That's right. It's one of his specialties. I think he, when he sells his decks, he uh, he says it just looks great, and people they want to be have things suggested to him. There's the same rail, the classic rail. We have the transcend white transcend rail with the black round balusters. It gives you the illusion that you see right through it. This is with the glass. The glass panel has been around for a long time. If you're living on an ocean setting or a waterfront setting, like a lot of us he do here on Long Island, on the, these, the salt spray gets up and just dirties them real bad. So sure, they may cost ten dollars, fifteen dollars a foot less than the cable rails, but the cable rail you don't have to clean it. You're gonna need a fifty-five gallon drum of Windex yeah. for those things. There's a there's a gravel the path rail on a uh, sand dune setting. This is the select rail. Okay. It uses the same sleeve cap and skirt as the transcend, but they have a a slim down version of the railing. It's still a composite rail and the reason that they made that rail was to go against PVC rails. So the price is similar or even a little bit less than some 
standard middle of the road PVC railings, but that, it's not a PVC rail, it's a composite rail. That mounting hardware looks a little bit different. From yeah, it has a little bit, well, again, as people always say, well, how come some of them have hardware showing and some of them don't? Yeah, why is well, that? Well, the, the more you pay for a rail, the less hardware you're going to see. Conversely, the less you pay for the rail, the more hardware you're going to see. That's where p part of the costs are, is concealing the hardware on the railings. Hmm. But you didn't know that. I, mean, yeah. I learn something new every day here in this internet video show mm -hmm. that we do. Um, this is how these rails go together with the uh, inserts. Of course, when I edit this, we'll see that larger. We'll uh, close off Matt's face and we'll put the, yeah, I don't know this why picture over that. that. And there's the same, the transcend rail with the white colonial balusters. Those look like stair rails almost. Well, it's got a, it's got a, like a turned colonial baluster. We sell, I don't know, 20, 30 boxes a year. That's about it. Maybe someone going it for a vintage a, look yeah, or something. Yeah, it, it, if it's a front porch, sometimes yeah. you're going to want to see that. And it's, yeah, of the major railing companies, that's the only one that really looks like that. And there's a reveal rail with a curve on it over a nice green grass. Different than uh, what we have here in the Northeast right now. Ooh, it's all white snow. But it's it's almost time, man. Before you know it, they're going to be breaking ground. ground. Footings are going to be being dug yep. all across oh, this yeah, market. And them. you know what's coming after that? A deck. It's deck. They, oh, yeah. My, a lot of the deck contractors that are they're hanging around here just waiting for the weather to change. Chomping get, at the bit. They have, each of them have three, four, five, eight decks all ready to go. Yep. And, and that's uh, why it's so important that you're at the other end of the computer watching these videos. Mm -hmm. You're doing your homework now, getting ready for the deck project. And uh, we've been here uh, for years now. All right. Helping you through that. If you're looking for railings, always take a look at Trex Rails. It's the way you're, wherever product. you go to look for products, they'll have Trex. Some of them will have Timber Tech. Some of them, the real good stores will have, like my, uh, my store will have Trex, Timber Tech, and Azac because we die, we, it's just better to sell them the top three brands, I feel, because that's what people want. Look at the brochures, they got a lot of great stuff. Check out their website, they have all kinds of great stuff on the websites and just pictures and some of them actually go toward Pinterest and the, again they have more pictures there. We're starting to get some of these photo sites going right now. Yep. And uh, and uh, there's not one uh, answer to what type of railing to put up. It's all a lot of different options, interchangeable options it seems what like. What I always say about the Trex products, design flexibility. You're not stuck with something you that you don't really like. There's always going to be something that you like because they have the options are limitless. I think last year when we did the interview with Steve, he said there was 1,200 wow. different combinations that you could use differently. So a lot of times people will say, well, they live in a house, uh, a section of houses and all the houses look the same. But And then you can have a deck, then the decks kind of look the same. But if your railing is real different, then it, uh, then it looks a lot different. Uh, one other thing to add is that people are always asking me, should I spend more money on the decking or more money on the railings? A lot of times people will get the super high-end decking. If they see a decking that's just absolutely beautiful, in the Trex case, if you have the, uh, the Island Mists with the gray or the Tiki Torch and the new Havana Gold product, just great-looking decking. And then that depends, of course, on your budget. Mm -hmm. And they'll put a less expensive rail on it. What do you think about Personally, that? Personally, I think you should, you, if, that, if you, you know, you're up against a number, spend a little more on the railing and less on the decking because you can get great decking with 25-year fade and stain warranties for under $3 a foot, mm -hmm. whereas these railings are kind of pricey. But once your deck is done and you have furniture and, of course, in Matt's case, kids' toys all over the place, you don't really see the deck. That's a good point. But you see the railings. And especially from the outside, you see, you definitely see the railings. So that's a, a visual part. Curb appeal in the real estate industry I'm not getting get into buying and selling houses. That's not my thing. I, I, I prefer decking. But that's it for today's show. Again, Trex, great stuff. Thanks to uh, Steve Phillips from Trex for being on the program again. Steve does a great job on our interviews. Why don't we give him the email addresses? Any questions okay. or comments about the program? You can uh, write me at mike at the deck or, or hit the co host up, matt at the deck Any can, emails or comments, suggestions, you know, anything. Baseball, he's a The he's shirt a I'm wearing fan, today, yeah, you know, fashion, anything. How he does his hair. What uh, what's the uh, the the stylist doing? The There's brand, a full crew the here. The brand that he dyes your hair with. Yep, uh, it's uh, <laughs> shoe polish black right now. No, but uh, seriously, thanks for watching uh, today's program and uh, watch back on the whole library. Let's throw something at the camera and say okay, goodbye. Okay, that's it for today's show. Ciao for now.